What's up guys, my name is Brandon and today Apple released iOS 13.4 GM to registered developers about a week after the release of beta 5. Now we also got GM builds for iPadOS 13.4, watchOS 6.2, macOS 10.15.4, and tvOS 13.4. But of course, in this video, we're only going to be covering iOS and iPadOS 13.4. We're gonna cover what's new, if anything. We're also gonna discuss the performance, battery life, bugs, and if you should update when the final public release of 13.4 drops next week. So taking a look at the size of this update, you can tell right away that it was the GM build right once it hit your device. I'm on my iPhone 11 Pro here, and I was on 13.4 beta 5 before this, but you can see here now it's over four gigabytes. And of course on all devices, it's gonna be at least three gigabytes. On my iPad, it was like 3.5 gigabytes or something like that, but it is going to be a pretty large update across the board. Now taking a look at the build number, if we go into our settings, general about, and then 13.4, you can see the build number here for this is 17E255. So a pretty similar build number to beta five as well. So I'm not expecting a ton of changes in terms of performance, stability, and battery life. And scrolling down a little bit to the modem firmware, you can see there it's 1.05.28, which is the exact same as it was in beta five. So I'm not expecting a ton of changes in terms of backend things like the performance, the battery life, and the connectivity on the final release of 13.4 compared to beta five. So beta five is pretty much going to be you know exactly what you're going to see on the final release so it's pretty much the gm before the gm build here but this is the last quote unquote beta before the final release of 13.4 which again is coming next week on march 24th now i'm going to be covering all the features and changes in that video on march 24th when i release the full review of 13.4 but in this video we're mainly going to discuss the bug fixes the battery life the performance and what i expect from the final release. But of course, there are still some new features and changes that I want to discuss in this video. And the first thing I wanna talk about is Car Key. So this is a feature that we've talked about here on the channel quite a bit, and it's going to allow you to use your iPhone to lock, unlock, and start your car. But of course, that car does have to have NFC built into it. And we saw hints of this in the code of iOS 13.4. We saw like the pairing screen. We know that you're gonna be able to send keys via iMessage, so you could just send keys to other people. We don't know when they're gonna expire or anything like that, but we know that you can actually share keys with other people as well. However, now we have an actual demo of the feature being used. So yeah, somebody actually sent this to me on Twitter and it's a clip that appears to show car key being used in a new Hyundai ad. So you can see in the clip here, he just puts his iPhone up to like the door handle of this Hyundai, which is obviously a newer one, which has NFC built into it, but you don't see anything on the screen, but this does definitely appear to be the car key feature that we've been hearing about and that we've seen hints at in the code of iOS 13.4. So very, very interesting. Now on iOS 13.4, I did not see the GM build here. I did not see any references to car key at all. I searched everywhere for anything about car key or maybe it had something to do with car play. I looked everywhere for something new with car key, but I did not find anything. Now, that doesn't mean that we won't see anything next week when the final public release goes out because we could see like a server side update. They could push something out server side and give us that feature. I don't know yet. Of course, stay tuned to the channel and I will let you guys know if anything else develops with car key. Now also in the GM build of iPadOS 13.4, we get actual mouse and trackpad support for the iPad. So this is in preparation of the new Magic Keyboard that was just announced for the new iPad Pros today. So basically with 13.4, you're gonna have a much better experience when using a mouse or trackpad on iPad OS, especially compared to iOS 13.3.1. So you're gonna notice things like elements dynamically changing, like as you hover over them, like you would on a regular computer. You're gonna have much better text editing, and you're just gonna have more stable support in general on 13.4 for mouse and trackpads compared to any previous version of iOS or iPad OS. And I'm gonna be demoing this in action on my 13.4 final video next week. But if we go into settings here, you can see that we do now have a new section in settings general. And you can see right there when you hook up a trackpad or mouse, there's a new section there that is trackpad and mouse inside your settings to configure things inside of there. Now also from people on Reddit, we know that the dock will automatically display when a mouse is placed in the dock area. So if you hook up your mouse, you can actually see the dock 
actually displays automatically when you put it down there in the dock area, whereas before it would not just automatically show up like that. And then another very minor change here in 13.4 for the iPad is that the little X there inside of Safari to close out of a tab is slightly tweaked compared to iPadOS 13.3.1. But as far as any other changes in iOS 13.4 or iPadOS 13.4 that were not in beta 5, I don't see any right now. Of course, we don't have the feedback application as expected because this is the GM build and we're not gonna get the actual release on our devices. If you're a developer, if you have the developer profile and you got this GM build, you're not gonna get the update next week because it's going to be exactly the same as this. But yeah, with the final release next week, you can expect things like the nine new Memoji stickers that I talked about here on the channel. Inside of your messages, you can go ahead and share those new Memojis. We have the new mail toolbar down here. The mail toolbar is different if you go into an email. Of course, that does differ from 13.3.1. It's a lot better than it was in previous versions of iOS. And plus a lot of the mail bugs have been fixed in 13.4 as well, because there were a lot of them in 13.3 and 13.3.1. We also have iCloud folder sharing, which has actually been working out pretty good for me on 13.4 throughout the beta stages. So that will of course make its way to the public next week with 13.4. We also have a little small thing that I've actually been using and that I like, and I haven't really touched on it too much, is if we go into our settings and go to accessibility, and then go down to Siri. We have the always listen for Hey Siri feature right there. And it says listen for Hey Siri when your iPhone is facing down or covered. So that's a new toggle here in 13.4 that we did not have in previous versions of iOS. Now that's pretty much it for the changes. Of course, I will be covering everything in 13.4, every single feature and change, big or small, in my final video next week. So definitely stay tuned for that. But as far as in this video, I also wanted to cover a few bugs that I may not talk about in that next video. So the first thing is somebody commented this in my beta five video. They said for Apple Music, it will randomly change songs and go backwards one without even touching them on my AirPod Pros. Now I have not had this issue in a while. I did used to have this issue and I think I mentioned it in a video like 13.3 betas and then also in 13.4 beta one, I had a very similar issue but I've not had anything like this in a while. So if you guys have had issues with Apple Music and your AirPod Pros and anything, you know, randomly changing songs or volume or anything like that, let me know down in a comment below. But as for me, I've not had this issue. And as for the other people who I mentioned in my video who had issues, most of them said in my beta five video that their issues were resolved. So beta five definitely fixed a lot of bugs for a lot of people, which is probably why, like I said, it was like the GM before the GM. It has the same modem firmware, essentially the same build number and things like that. So anyways, as far as the text message bug and the Instagram audio bug, you guys already know that these are major issues for me and unfortunately neither one of them have been fixed, but I'm staying optimistic that they will be fixed in iOS 14. I guess that's really our only hope. I mean, we could see iOS 13.5, iOS 13.4.1, but at this point, I'm really not keeping my hopes high that these will be fixed until iOS 14, which is a big reason I don't really even talk about them that much anymore. Now, as far as the performance and battery life goes, it's going to be about the same as beta five. So this GM build here is technically beta six, you know, even in the developer portal for developers, it shows this GM build as being beta six. So it's going to be very similar to beta five. And I notice really no difference in terms of performance or battery life, at least not on my iPhone 11 Pro. But then again, this is not my main phone. So I will be able to give you guys a much more detailed analysis of the performance of battery life next week when the final comes out. And then the following week after I've used it on every device, the final version on every device daily. So yeah, if you were on the beta builds and especially beta five, I would not expect any kind of big jump. But from 13.3.1, there's definitely an improvement in both performance and battery life, especially battery life for me. For some reason, at the end of 13.3.1, battery life just started getting bad. And it could just be, you know, the device getting older or, you know, there's tons of different reasons why it could have been getting worse. But iOS 13.4 has improved battery life for a good majority of people that have commented here on my videos. So once again, the final release of iOS 13.4 will be here next week on the 24th. Apple actually confirmed this on their website, of course, today with the release of the new iPad Pros and of course the new smart keyboard as well. I will have a video coming later today talking about that new 2020 iPad Pro and I definitely will be getting that as well. So next week will be chock full of a ton of awesome videos here on the channel. I got the new iPad Pro coming. I got the new MacBook Air coming. We have 13.4 coming. So next week is definitely going to be a good one. You guys definitely wanna make sure you keep it locked here on the channel. Hit that notification bell if you have not done so already and be here early to leave a comment. You guys know I love replying to you 
there as well. So that's another benefit of having that notification bell clicked. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. That is iOS 13.4, the GM build. Not really a ton to talk about just because next week I will be talking about this a lot more in depth and showing all the features a lot more in depth. So I didn't want to just make the same video, you know, two weeks in a row. So hope you guys are looking forward to that and I will see you guys very soon.